Hey, yo, this is Philly's own Amber Rose. I do miss you guys so much. Mwah. your boy philadelphia freeway and i want to send a big shout out congratulations we gonna hold it down for philly earl yo i'm getting ready to put y'all up on something man what's going yo, on yo when you see something ill uh-huh. you know what i mean that shit is woke like man. Story. anything ill you see is woke uh-huh they can have a big six at the curb that's right. woke okay especially if you got the fully equipped kid on it oh, it's woke right. like you know what i mean like yo they don't like this shit don't you touch that dial. Okay. I had this bad this sister tell she was Whoa. Whoa. This is the up answer. In the head, I mean. Whoa. Whoa. Bought the bitch diamonds and pearls, I mean. Whoa. Should have seen them shit shining on the wrist. Whoa. Now money ain't a problem. See, my dough is like. Whoa. Pulled out my bankroll on y'all. It's like. like Play my shit. Oh. Oh. Where's the footy? FPV. What up? It's your boy Meek Millie. I already know y'all gonna do your thing. Y'all already know what it is. Philly, you did. Hey yo, it's your boy Fresh Montana. You tuned, tuned, tuned in. You tuned in. You're tuned in to the hot, hot, hottest in the game. You are tuned in. Yeah, you are tuned in. <laughs> coast to coast. This is your boy Don Youth, and when I'm in the PA, I'm rocking with Sean the Don. Na 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 Boys there. I'm sorry, but the only power source capable of generating 1.21 gigawatts of electricity is a bolt of lightning. What did you say? A bolt of lightning. I figured that would happen. I knew it. Give me one second, because you know what had happened was uh, I bumped the shit out of this USB cord. That's one hell of a way to kick off the show, boys. And girls. We have girls that watch too now. Bam, there it is. And uh, Improvements. Should have turned the light on sooner. My fucking bad. All right, there we go. Whew. Shweep. Everything's good now. Now we're back in action. Let's fucking start this over. What is good, everybody? This is FPTV. I am Sean the Don. This is the home of FPV, and we are doing the thing that we do Monday through Friday or Tuesday through Saturday, depending what part of the globe you are from. And it's Wednesday night. B2P was rocking, so we usually go on a little bit later on Wednesdays. Leveling up on a little Mountain Dew out of my Flintstones cup. So we're going to say what's up to the squad. I see we got lots of badasses out in this, in this chat at the moment. We got my man, the legend himself, the slattiest of them all, the slat, I don't know what, the slat daddy. That's what it was. I got to come up with some more. I got to come up with some more creative ones. Slatlicious, slattastic, slat. Fucking 
slap, slapping, slap flowing. My man Slat's in the building, baby. <laughs> What's good, Slat? And we got Flip Master, my man Flip. What's good, Flip? My brother, I'm so sad. Tuesdays are going to be so, so sad for me now. He said he's not doing his stream on Tuesdays anymore. But it's okay, he still does one on Sundays. And he has all kinds of different actors and art, or, I'm sorry, authors and different people in there that you, you wouldn't see on your typical FPV show. Because it's not an FPV show. It's called the, what's it called, Flip? Tell him what it's called, bro. I know what it's called, but tell him. I named the show. I'm such a freaking genius. No, I'm just joking. So, uh, but I did name the show, and it's so good. Quad Daddy! It's called The Spotlight Lounge, baby. And, uh, it's because I kept calling, <laughs> kept calling his other show, which was the FPV Spotlight La Live. I kept calling it The Spotlight Lounge, and sure enough, now there is a Spotlight Lounge. Better than ever. My man Flip is doing it right. So that's what's up. Pits Flying Eye, checking in all the way from Germany. What's good? Uh, we had Brutal FPV, baby. Who else we got? Wonga Lahara. Finally making it in. Anybody else? If you're out there in the chat and you want a shout out, say what's up. I got you. Slat is not bad. That's good. So, Slat, my brother, congratulations. My man, Slat, made two months in a row. He doesn't even tell me anything either. It just keeps me in the dark. And I, I don't keep up with, like, everything out there like that. But I do watch a lot of people's content. So I would watch your content but not have a clue what the fuck Rotor Riot said about this stuff. So if you ever do happen to make this, you got to let me know so we can celebrate it. So Slat made recently a community highlight over there at Rotor Riot. Again, this is the second month in a row. All the Twan Twans. <laughs> Slat is also very close to hitting 5,000 subs, ladies and gentlemen. What a meteoric rise my brother has had. Congratulations, brother. What's in my background? That's a close-up of a nipple. What a nipple looks like if you get real close to one. This is the, the close part where, where, where like the good stuff happens, and it gets further away from it. So, oh shit, we got EBR FPV. What a great time to show up. My man, Erwin, sent from the Netherlands sticker packs, baby. Look at this. Look at that Freebird sticker. Some people who are going to get FPTV families packs are going to be fortunate enough to receive a Freebird. As well as he sent an awesome pile of all kinds of random stickers that are going to enhance the pile. For, oh shit. Shit got serious, boys. Shit got serious over here. <laughs> Woo! Uh, but yeah, all kinds of awesome stuff. And I think this is so cool. I'm going to have to save this. You didn't put a return address on it, but... So I did want to send you stickers back for you, you and Dennis and for Marty. But I want to show them the badass stamps. Look at those cool stamps from the Netherlands. That is so cool. So that is my first, I'm pretty sure that's the first letter or, or package I ever received from another country. I got a little aside from like stuff you order online or whatever, but I think that is so cool. I was so excited to see this. And it says those are from 2014. Those are some vintage ass stamps, bro. So cool, dude. I'm very pumped about this. Super exciting. So thank you so much, brother. I had also no back-end address. <laughs> Good work, people. Good work. All right, well, then someone's going to be getting a package of stickers for everybody in Europe. I don't know who it's going to be, but someone is getting them all. Uh, Ruthless said, what's up? <clears throat> okay, Ruthless is in uh, stream, in, sorry, Steam playing some simulator, I assume. Okay, I would tell them, come to the stream, Ruthless. Don't be silly, my friend. They, they're they here, bro. I don't know when you sent them, but that seems really fast. Like, seems like they got here really quick. Did you have, uh, did you have Dennis, like, put some kind of secret postal code on there for them or something? What's 
Wait, what? Wong, bro, bro, are you are you hashtag backflipping? Wong, bro, I gotta tell you, you better watch out. You're putting that on there. You better look out for Techno Steve. Techno Steve is out there. I don't know if there's a Techno Steve in Texas, but there may be. You might attract one. Just lure him right in. Holy shit! Wong Lahar is back flipping. Let's go! Alright. Pit dropped something very special for us. Oh, wait. We have other things to discuss, too. While we're in a congratulations, everyone's getting congrats. All these people. My man Flip is moving on to bigger and better things. He's going to do all kinds of crazy action with the acting and his new stream on Sundays that he's been working on. The F... I'm sorry. Fucking A. Damn it, anyways. The Spotlight Lounge. I want to call it the, I want to call it the old stream because I don't want it to go. I'm so sad. I just wanted to get on there. I was out at my buddy's lake house yesterday. And, like, I figured I'll watch it because, like, I can get shitty streams quality there. And I could, like, watch it in 144p, but I could, like, listen. But uh, sure enough, I'm on my way out there, and I saw it. Said, he invited me to the thing, and I couldn't go. And then it said the, goodbye, and I was like, what the fuck? But I already made plans, so I couldn't, like, bail on my friend who's, like, at his lake house waiting for me, you know? So we went out there, and I sat and did my thing. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be hard without you, bro. I'm going to play a sad song for you. I don't, I don't know if I have any sad songs that'll play. But you're moving on to better things, and that, that was the point. And Slat is fucking 5,000 subscribers deep in this game, going hard body. Oh, man, you definitely are going to come on for sure. Maybe next Tuesday you should come on in honor. I think you should. We're going to do some roasting tonight for my man Flip. He, he seems to be into the roasting. Tonight is a roasting occasion. So Slat, 5,000 deep, two months straight, community hi highlight over at Rotor Riot. So he's celebrating. Wong Lahara is now in the team. He's celebrating. Everybody's got celebrations all day. Let's go. And now we have uh, this piece of information here. That I'm going to share with you if I could find the right. Oh, there it is. Got it. Okay. You can drag this up the top. And I don't know what the easiest way. There we go. <clears throat> All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages, Juicy Spang Spang, the Facebook group, we are at 974 members. So I keep saying we are going to hit 1,000 by the end of this month. We are about a week away, roughly. Oh, shit, Slat's got an FPTV exclusive, baby. Let's go. The uh, Juicy Spang Spang group, we're at almost 1,000, so if you guys aren't in there, join up on the group, and if you know anyone out there spanging, make sure you tell them, join the group. Get everyone over here and fill this group up. I want to see us hit 1K. So many badass pilots rolling through here. This is the Spang Gang home, the home of the Spang. We're kind of like the home of the Spang too here. We bring the Spang all day. All right, so that's what's up. Then in here, we have... So Slat's got an FPTV exclusive for us. That is sick. My brother can't wait to check that. Uh, we have Pitt's got something crazy for us, buddy dog. That's real no joke. What a PD pilot told him. Old backflip member fucked me hard with this. Twan, twan, twan. <laughs> That's how it goes. That's the way it goes. Do -do -do, do -do -do. Things will never be the same. All right. Let us uh, let us find this shiz that Pitt has listed. We're not going to talk about it. We're just going to play it. This? Nah, really, dog? How'd you get in trouble for this? Who knows what the hell you did here, Pitt? I can't wait to find out. FPTV exclusive! Okay, guys. You see, you're here on the bridge. Not so high as this where we are flies, but I try my best and look if I can do something or if I just shred my stuff, brothers. Let's go, bitch! Under the bridge, on the bridge? Oh shit.
와. Try to get us some advertising for this uh for the crash compilation competition so i bought this ad on facebook and the best part is i don't know i looked up why like it was taking forever it seems like it's been like in review for a really long time but apparently there can't be a shitload of words in the picture and there's a lot of words so it's probably just gonna get kicked back i'm so aggravated i waited like a whole day now to find out what the story was with that and tomorrow it's going to be over 24 hours and I can pretty much guarantee it's getting kicked back. Pretty kind of them to put steps in there for the homeless people. Email? Oh shit. Emails. I right, yeah. Slats dropping them exclusives in my fucking email. We're talking top tier exclusive. Slats also got a brand new Vijay out, guys. We're going to watch that tonight as well. Shit is legitimate, baby. He tore this place up one pack legend style. I don't know Juan Ohar. If I liked it, I watched it. It's hard to say. I, I try to only watch stuff on the show anymore. Yeah, that's what's up, Pip. Sick, bro. Okay, Pit. <clears throat> Damn right, Wong. Drop that shiz. All right, we're going to delete Pit's video forever. Oh, my God, that's EBR's video. I'm so sorry, EBR. It's a bridge, too, so I looked at it and just thought it was Pit's video. That is so good. That is too funny. Yeah, EBR was like, no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Hopefully, we deleted the right stuff. Right? No. Leave the whole mess. Bam. Done deal. <clears throat> okay. Drop that shiz. Nice work. All right. We are going to check out Slats exclusive. I got to check my email though. So I have to open. 
another browser down below. A second here. We'll check the emails. The email machine, as it's called. An email machine. From YouTube? From YouTubies. Whoa. Waffle Nuffa. Oh shit. This is full fledgedly private. This is like that shit where if you don't get a link, you can't even watch it. Okay. Let me get my stream back up so I can see what's going on. Oh shit. We got Bubby in the hizzy. What's good, Bubby? That's my brother. What's happening, man? I haven't seen you in forever. Feel like you've grown up years now. How old are you? 20 these days? Doing all right? That's what's up. Getting out there, shredding it up. We are about to check out an FPTV exclusive. School's taking over. Well, there's not too much left, right? We're in, uh, we're almost in April, so you got like basically two months left, and then the summer will be upon you, and freedom is yours, my brother. You will be out there doing your thing. All right, we are going to check out my man Slat FPV is dropping an FPTV full fledged exclusive, and we're about to check it. I see we're in a badass parkade. It's got to be good. Oh shit, spring break! Spring break action. What kind of stuff are you planning for spring break? You going to go wild? All right, let's get it. My man Slat FPV dropping that FPTV exclusive. If I don't hit the right button. Here we go. Let's go. Shit, let's go! Slattiest of them all. It's my man, Slat FPV. This is an FPTV exclusive. Swoop. So sick, bro. This is some magical flow right here. Thank you. 
Oh, those props aren't happy. Sick, dude. That was awesome, Slad. Thank you so much for sharing that with us, my brother. I appreciate that. Well, let's check this out. We got uh, we got something new. Let's see if it works. I'm curious how this is going to work. Go back to when someone subscribed or something. Here we go. Yeah. All right, sick. That's our new uh, our new alert boxes. They work. That was sick as shit, Slap. Your flow is magical, bro. Magically delicious. Oh, look at charms. I have to go back in the chat because I couldn't even fucking take my eyes off that. That shit was straight fire. All right. Oh, Bubby's going to Florida. Very nice, dude. That is what's up. Feel free to hop in a car and head north to Pennsylvania. We'll go to Concrete City, the prop shop. We'll go to IHOP. We'll go to all different places, bro. All the bandos. I did hear about that situation with the air unit. Who knows what that could be? That could be like a translation issue or where there's a lot of semiconductor shortages and things like that. There's a lot of various issues, so you really never know what's going to happen. But it wouldn't be surprising if DJI would try and force people into purchasing their drone instead of making their own. Because their goal would be to, to monopolize the market rather than to free the people to do what they want. But, you know, they are making money off those anyway, so it seems kind of silly. Who knows? You have to wait and see what happens. I am glad, though, that I fly analog. I tell you that much. The thing that would really suck if they did do that, and you were stuck with the Caddx ones, you can't use the DJI controller anymore. So you lose your RX uh, functionality, right? I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that the only one that the, the DJI controller works with is the air unit. Vistas and air units. Seems like Caddx is still making. Yeah, but I don't like the Vistas as much as the AAU. Okay. Not a fan on the Vista. Stated they will still be making AU along with Vistas. Sweet. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. My man, six foot seven, Evan. Let's go. Seven foot six. Six foot seven. <laughs> That's great, dude. Lucky charms. Oh, shit. Chad is way down there. I'm fucking super far behind, boys. Bubby got to come to Detroit sometime. Hell yeah. Oh, Bubby, you'd love Detroit too. There's like the Packard plant there and stuff. Oh my God, it's so nice there. I want to go to Detroit so bad. Going to take a daughter to school, be back in 30. All right, we'll be here, bro. I was going to go instead of Sean, but I don't have my part 107. Hopefully I'll make it out this year hoping to fly dji soon i got to try it evan it was pretty damn cool definitely was really really beautiful to see the real like it was like gopro in your eyes oh man it was really amazing looking but holy shit marius fpv in the building baby oh let's go let's drop a marius video while my man is here see like i got so far behind in the chat this could have happened five minutes ago. Who even knows? You guys know my man, Marius? This is like Spang legend. Holy shit, you have a new video and I don't know it? Marius, why don't you tell me these things? You probably tagged me in a post and I didn't notice. Oh, no pressure. I did see this somewhere. Damn it, why didn't I watch this? Oh, fuck. Oh, the juice bike! Let's go! The world stops 
Bro, that was the best shot of a juice bike I think I've seen yet, dude. You capture the juice bike so well. The chat is gonna be so far behind again because I can't even. You guys, there's so much. Slap, Marius, oh my god. Bubba, you got some new fire for us too, bro? Oh my god. Dude, you are just insane. Damn. Oh my god. That was crazy, dude. I can't believe I didn't watch that till right now. Oh, the hate train is super real, bro. Oh my god. You know what? This is the way. This is the way we need to be doing things. We're punching out some hard ass videos right here. Slap, that shit was fire. Marius, this was fire. I can't wait to see what's next, boys. God only knows what we're going to uncover upon this this show. Marius, I am your biggest fan, bro. You already know that. If that's spelled right, that is fucking good. I, I might have spelled that right. That's pretty fucking good. We're doing our thing. Boys and girls, the spelling is on point. All right, scrolling down, scrolling down. Proton Togo, Proton Togo. Oh man, you were you were this close to me saying hi at like a reasonable time to you coming in. This close, dude. I just couldn't see your name. I'm so sorry, bro. Take you guys to oh brutal. I'm coming, bro. I tried to ask my wife if she wanted to go to Detroit this weekend. She was like, ah, uh, I don't know about that. Bro, I am good, Marius. How about you, my dude? How are things going for you? Swapped some rates today and ruined some rigs. Oh, shit. That happens. Oh, no. Proton Togo's an indecisive tuning hell. Okay, okay, bro. Did a new video yesterday. JetRC. Mark IV frame, T-Motor. I saw a little picture of it. Very nice. Maiden it, bro. Let's go. That was banging. That was absolutely. Who's like the founding father of Spang? Hold on. Let me get to the end of this chat. I will try and answer that question for you. Man, I haven't posted in like two weeks. Bubby. Come on. It's saying Farouk. Uh, Bubby. Huge fan, man. Don't slack. Your shit's insane. It is, dude. It's fire. Drop it on listed that will never be shown. Colors are way off and it's just man. Ah, uh, Bobby, I bet it's fire, bro. Like a spang one, Bubby? Proton has <laughs> What? Who hates on that? I'm gonna be rigging my five inch to a seven tomorrow and changing rates, pids. Nice work, bro. Marius, you just spoke to me. Did he? I don't know. I didn't see that, but okay. Uh where are we at? Brothers, I'm going to ride now to the park. Back tomorrow. All right, Pitt. Have a good time. Oh, shit. Bubby dropped it. Easy, easy, cool, bro. Scroll all day. That's what's up, Marius. Do your thing. It'll be summertime soon. You'll be free. You'll be out there shredding the gnar all day long. 
Bro, 1,000. We are so close. The Juicy Spang Spang group. I am telling the people. Everyone join the Juicy Spang Spang group all night. Everybody ju join up. Get your juicy on. Uh, okay, so Wong was there for two weeks. Feels the pain. Latest video is super schmoove. Nice work, Wong. I can't wait to check it, bro. We're going to check that out very shortly. Proton Togo says he's stuck there for like half a year. But your tune looks sick as shit, so I don't know. It looks good to me. Look at a rig. I play in my shiz. Okay, got you. With that flying. Damn. All right. Whew. Chat is caught up, boys. That's where we're at. If you're in the chat and you want to shout out, say what's up. I got you. You get your twan twans too. Okay. Now that this place is lit on fire, everyone is dropping straight fire. Pitt dropped a picture of his quad. Very nice pick. Great job. All right. Damn, Bubby's got an insert title video for us. Insert title here, mother fluffers. Bubby, I flew Pilgrim, bro. I only put one pack down in front of the, the outside. I put one on the side in that like courtyard area over to the left if you're facing it. I flew there first. And then some dude showed up randomly who ends up like he, I, I saw him flying, so I didn't I didn't like put another pack up over there. I went out front to talk to him. And then the people I was with were like, We have to go and I was like, Not fucking without me throwing a pack down out here, we're not. And I immediately just whipped out my shit and started getting ready. I was like, Bro, you done? And as soon as he was done, I just threw my pack down. Holy shit, we got FP Drew. Another badass pilot out of Detroit. My dude, FP Drew. What is good, brother? All right. Shit. I think I just closed the Discord. I'm going to get my stuff together here at some point. There it is. All right. Bubby has dropped us an FPTV exclusive. We are about to check out. This looks like a sick ass spot. I could be wrong. This kind of looks like that spot in Florida, that mansion that's out in the water. Is it? Oh, damn it. Is. I am good, boys. FPTV exclusive. My man, Bubby FPV. Oh shit, dude. Fighting to hold on to things I never had. Happiness so fickle. Don't know how to act. But I feel so different and strange. When you say you want me, but I want me to change. I don't understand. What's that? This place is so cool. That rebar sticking out of the front of that is crazy. Damn. That room looks real familiar to me. Like, I've seen a couple quads tangled up in there. With fucking hooks and all kinds of stuff.
I had to look at the graffiti for a second. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. I didn't mean to interrupt the flow of the jail. That is awesome. I would seriously like hang out here all day. I'd be in heaven in this place. Oh shit. I bet that didn't end too well. Probably not too bad. It either broke on impact on that wall, or it was alright, because you probably landed in some grass or sand down there, so it was probably alright. That was a really nice flight, Bubby. Beautiful. I don't think I saw anybody ever fly there quite that well, that nicely. Alright, we gotta scroll up, because who knows where we are. If we drew said it's up. Haven't said it's fire. It said always. Your flow mixed with proxy is unparalleled. Very nice, dude. Peace out, Pip. It was dope, Wong. Going up that corridor and ring into the into level. Disorienting in the best way. Hell yeah, dude, that was crazy. Yeah, it was a dope spot to watch over again. Yeah, I like graffiti and stuff. I like looking at that stuff. I wanted to check that blue thing out by the door, by the, the window that he was flying out. Arm broken. Yeah, impact. That'll do it. Did I drop you long-legged Larry? Uh, I don't know. Did I like it? If I liked it, I watched it. That's the way to know. That's the secret sauce to it. It's possible you did. I don't remember. Uh, Bubby, how did your stream go tonight? Or, uh, is on the that uh, catch you later stream? How did you do? Did you do good? I wasn't able to watch it because I actually passed out. Unfortunately, I was intending to, and I was going to cheer you on. I was going to be like, "Yeah, Bubby," but what had happened was I sat down and fell asleep. So I, I'm not going to lie. I apologize. When I try and like just relax. Like I'm so tired. I have so much like shit going on. I'm just like. Like, immediately just, like, drop out. Like a dog. I kind of feel like a dog. I'm just, like, sit down on the couch, and I'm like, oh, I'll watch something. Just relax. Oh. Just nod off. Aesop Rock? Shit, let's go. Very nice. So now you're warmed up. Are you ready to come on FPTV? That was like a that was like a, a warm up show for you. Get you fired up, get you pumped up, get your mic levels set up, and get you all all set up with the streaming thing over there. All right. Now that my face is fire engine red from all this fire, everyone's dropping straight heat. We're gonna check out Wong Lahara's video. And then, oh, we got some six foot seven Evan. We got some long legged Larry, aka the Emu Flight. I'll check the replay out. I'll get to see it too. I just didn't get to get there yet. 
Maybe I'll watch it when I go to bed tonight. All right, here we go, Wong. Two packs a day. Cops, motherfuck. Fluffin' called. Fluffin'. I always say fluffin', so just so people know. <clears throat> oh, let's go. I'll get on early. I'll go on early. Uh, Wednesday nights are, are, I usually go on a little later because it's between two props, but um, we can go on at like 10 on most nights or 11 at some nights. So I can get on early just for you, Bubby. But we need, we need to know ahead of time so we can let everybody know. We'll get the house all packed up. We'll get all the Bubby squad up in here. We we'll Bubby Central. We gotta get Slat in the house too. Slat, when are you coming on the show, bro? Next Tuesday, we're talking about having Flip come on. We haven't had anyone on. We didn't have anyone last week. It was crazy because I was in New York and all that stuff. Oh, shit. Wong dropping the new logs. Those are Wong's feet. Wong's walking by Banda. And he's not. Oh, shit. Let's go. Bando camper in that yard. That's a fucking bando shed, bro. Oh, water for my French press. Lighting out to alleviate. So we're out in the field. Out in the motherfucking field. We got a really good place to fly today. I like it. It's some cool shit. Like, check this out. Check this tree out. I probably won't do too much because there's a lot of ghost branches, but there's a cool little opening right there. Yeah, buddy. But anyways, this two pack today session is going to be four packs. But I'm going to edit it to the music because, fuck, I know, I know, I know, raw packs are the best, raw editors are the no, best. No, Bobby. So I like editing the music. <clears throat> I mean, one second. Little music videos me, so, fuck it. That's what you're going to get. I really like this place. It's pretty cool. I got my new quad. My new bad boy with me. This motherfucker's sick, dude. I love it. You have so much fun with it. So, it's a little, uh, it's a little close, little proxy setup going on over here. Let's see what we can make work over here and make the magic happen. Until next time. Um, no, when I went up there, I was with uh, two rappers that were doing... They had to go for a photo shoot, a video shoot, and they were going to a studio up there to record. And so I was going up to hang out with them and party and stuff. And then I was like, I'm not going unless we're going to Pilgrim. Like, that's flat out my story. Like, And they were like... All right, bro. All right, all right. And so on Tuesday we did all the stuff they had to do, and then <clears throat> Wednesday we we were supposed to be in the studio until like nine or ten in the morning the following day, and we ended up getting out early and stuff, and uh, all this other shit was going on. They they had so much shit happen up there with the studio time in the middle of the night. We were supposed to go at 4 a.m. and it was just ridiculous, but. The main thing was, when we all got up in the morning, and everyone was ready to rip and leave, and they were like, nah, we're just going to go, I was like, nah, we're just going right to Pilgrim, is where we're going, and so I made everyone go to Pilgrim, and they were like bitchy about it, but they had a good time, and once we got inside, they were like super pumped about it and shit, and I got them with some shots and stuff, so they were pretty pumped about that, but uh, did you fly inside at all when you were there, or just outside? I saw you, like, no, I, I shouldn't say, I saw you flew inside upstairs, but, like, did you, like, rip around inside, or just screw around a little bit? I didn't get to see, like, much of the upstairs. I saw a B-Rad's video where I saw you guys were, like, diving that one spot up there. How's it going? But, like, the upper part looked like there was uh, nowhere you could down. fly. Do, do you think there was anywhere you could fly, down. like, in those upper levels? Is everything good? Wait. <laughs> How's it going? I'll uh, just fly my drone. Just fly my drone. Is everything good? Somebody just called and said there's somebody in the lot. What can you do in the lot? Right. <laughs> anyway, I just come out here to check you out. All right, it's cool if I fly here, though. Okay, awesome. Appreciate it, man. <laughs> Did he say anything to you, Juan, or did he just drive up on the grass there like that, like, and just sit there? 
He probably saw you in that fucking power stance where you're like, like, but it looks like you're like Cyclops blasting out of your fucking goggles, dude. You're in such a badass power stance. He's probably like, I'm not even gonna interrupt this dude. This dude is for real. That's a federal offense to interfere with a pilot while they are in, in flight. Poor guy doesn't know the law. I'm sure it did. See, that's what I'm saying. You're not, you're not allowed to do that stuff. That's against, that's uh, one of the federal the FAA regulations. You're not allowed to interrupt someone while they're flying. Bro, this is like a bando here. Those are some steps to someone's home. Little bando right there. You ride as the ultimate power stance. There's a dude standing in the field. What is he doing over there? I don't know. Let's call the cops on him. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it was a neighbor. Maybe it was someone driving by, but I don't give a fuck. It'll be all right. The cops didn't give shit. He said, I don't care what you do over here as long as you're not making no trouble. And I, you boy ain't making no trouble. So, I mean, we're good. We're good. But man, let me tell you, this was a fun spot. You know, not too long ago, uh, the house over here, right behind me. Somebody got shot up. It's a registered flight? The hell's a registered flight, Evan? I don't register flights. I don't know what that means. I just uh I just put a pack on and fucking I certify it. I certify send that shit, but I don't know about registering it. All right, let me scroll up here and see what we missed in the chat. I should just pause the chat, and then I'll just know where I'm at. What ends up happening is, I think it's real screwy. Okay. <clears throat> Music and voice are still a little off volume. We need to compress a bit. Yeah, compress it, brah. Compress dog. And I don't know what you're using. You should be using DaVinci Resolve. And if you do, you clip your audio, and then you just turn your audio up on your voice sections real loud. Get a good mix. I am going to go to New York and I am going to fly with Spark Attack and Marcos and I want to fly with JFPV. I want to fly with a whole bunch of people up there. Mad Chiller, all those different squads. Go inside a bit. Just screwed around. Wasn't going for lines. You'd be sorry to get a good line inside there. It's so tight. All right, so now I walked through the bottom. I did not go upstairs, but in the bottom, dude, it looks like just all machinery. In those two center rooms, it looks like it's just all like wall to wall machinery. When I saw the video with B Rad, when you guys were upstairs trying to dive that gap, it looks like it's so tight in there you can't move barely and go anywhere or do anything. And then there was cables like everywhere and shit. I'll show you guys. Not that anyone wants to see me fly, but just because I want to show Bubby, I'm proud of my interior flight there. I'll show Bubby. There's the one wrapper. This is uh, a. <clears throat> this is my flight inside of Pilgrim. The reason why I didn't even care about flying outside of Pilgrim at all is I was like, I've seen Bubby fly out here, and it was so sick. I don't need to even worry about trying to fly outside. I would love to see you get inside some of the bandos in Detroit. I'd love to see Bubby fly at Packard. It would be sick to see that. I'm really pretty much infatuated with Packard. I'd say that 30 times tonight alone. He drove on the grass and beat. Yeah, I got that. Okay. Scared the shit out of me. The shithead cop. He was nice, that's true. Down in Texas, cops are different. He was like, you ain't doing nothing? Alright. As in 107 document. Oh, okay, to interrupt you. It was under my impression that anyone who's flying uh, as a pilot is under the protections that you're not supposed to be interrupted in any way if you're flying anything, because it's dangerous. 
thought it was uh, any license card. That's what I thought too. I was pretty sure it said that. Any anytime you're flying anything for hobby or any reason, it's a danger to interrupt the pilot. So that's why. <clears throat> Spark Attack is insane. He's a cool dude too. Premier Pro for the win. Nah, I like Da Vinci. The coloring is so good in there. I can't even. I can't even figure it out yet. Yeah, you do have to learn it. It's very different. What happened there, bro? Is it is it like locked down or something there? Yeah, those fuckers need some federal charges. Tell them their asses will be in federal penitentiary. Does this room look familiar to you, Bubby? What's the story with Packard? Do they like they like lock that down or what? If I can't fly there, I'll cry. That's, that's seriously on my like important things to do list in the immediate to near future. Ben Sting, why? What's the story? Who do they think they are? That's basically all you need to see there. Not not much more to show. Really? The one that you flew that that oh shit. That's crazy, dude. I flew a bunch of six spots recently, Bubby, if you feel inclined to check out some. There's uh this is right behind my house, the prop shop. This place is sick. This is the hospital. This video is so good, it's so funny. Here's outside of uh the only thing I wanted to throw outside of there was I wanted to throw a double power loop over both of the gates. So I spent the basic entire pack out front trying to do that. Hospital. This is a real sick spot we call the International House of Pain. You should check these out, Bubby. These are all right by me. Only scratching the surface of the bongo. The, 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 the bongos. The bongos, man. Gung, 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 gung. Now the bandos. The bandos, this is me inside of a one of those steam tables. I, when I looked at it, when I was flying by, because there is the section in front of this, there's actually gaps in it, but they're really small gaps. So in my theory, what I was going to do was I was going to slip into here, and then I was going to go forward to the front, and then back up, and then come out just for, like, the fucks of it. But I didn't, didn't work. Thank you, Bubby. I appreciate that, bro. We're start, I'm starting to find all these bandos now. I finally, like, it's put almost a year of flying in. And I feel, like, confident enough that I can go here and rip around a little bit. Slowly. But, you know. Donkey Konga. Dude, I have the, uh, did you guys ever see, I don't know if you guys are old enough, some of you guys, but the, from GameCube, they had the bongos, the Donkey Kong bongos. I have those. I have at least two sets of those. They were, uh, they're pretty cool. I got those. If you guys come to my house and fly bandos with me, we will play Donkey Kong Bongos on the GameCube. It'll be awesome. And we could live stream that. I actually have it sitting right here. I never hooked it up. Somewhere. I have like a, an Elgato capture. I think it's Elgato. Capture card. So I have all that shit. So I want to stream video games. <clears throat> You want to see my video game collection? You got to see it in person. Yeah, there's there's quite a bit to see in person. It's it's wild. And if I get like where I'm sitting right now, I'm in my boiler room. You know, there's not much to see here, but like that's my fucking boiler. You know, like I'm <laughs> legitimately right next to my boiler, so that's why there's all kinds of room noise in here. 
And so, oh shit, Bobby's leaving? All right, bro. Peace. Plane's about to take off. Bobby! You have a safe flight, my brother. All right? And enjoy yourself. Take care. And I'll see you next week, bro. We got to talk. Or actually, we have to talk this week. But make plans. And next week, we'll do it one night. Not, we'll, we'll have the stream one night. You know what I mean. Is a boiler or a hot water heater? No. My hot water heater is next to my boiler. That's a hot water heater. And that's a boiler. So, in the heating system, you have two types of heat, basically. You have either a hot water boiler or steam to deliver hot water heat or boil it, boil it till it creates steam and then you get steam heat or you have your uh furnace which a furnace creates hot air so those are your two choices hot air furnace or a boiler is a hot water or steam production system and i don't know in alaska what you guys you guys probably use a lot of furnaces up there because it's more modern but uh where i live in pennsylvania a lot of homes, older homes, had radiators and systems like that. So this place is old school, and I still have the uh, the radiators and everything upstairs. So it's pretty cool. The thing that like is the big difference. I don't know about everywhere. I'm sure it's the same. Heat's kind of the same everywhere you go. So, but where I'm at, I I enjoy the radiator style heat because this sucker gets cranking and it puts all the radiators in all the rooms get super hot, and then. When the heat shuts off down here, instead of it immediately like not feeling like warm air is in the room, that radiator stays hot as shit for quite some period of time. So there's always that feeling of like warm in the room. And I actually came up with a really cool idea. You could mount a, a small fan, or I'll just put a fan in front of it sometimes. And when the heat's ripping, you put the fan on for like 10 minutes and let it blow through the radiator. And it like really fills, it blows all the cool air through the room in there. And then you shut it off before it cools off because you want it to stay hot. And, oh, the room gets so nice and warm. It's like putting a furnace right in the room. Pretty cool. That's that. There's heat in the northeast region of America. That's how we get in. Get it in, boys. Ripping in a t-shirt pit. That's what I like to see. So that was my video. You know, there it is. Lots of bando videos. I'm out there ripping it up. Hopefully people want to see that. I want to show everybody, because I like doing that stuff, so hopefully people like watching it. Alright, long drop that. Let's watch EBR's video while we're down here. <clears throat> oh, fuck, this is juice? Oh, shit, EBR. There it is, the Freebirds logo. Make sure you tell Dr. Frannick I said what's up. I don't know if EBR is back. I probably should have checked to see before I played the video. Very nice. Erwin, what you need to do if you want to incorporate the juice into your... You already have, like, the really smooth style. You just, like, throw a crazy eject 
and then lock into one of your super smooth lines and then let it like get real tight to the tree and then when you get on the other side of the tree smack it backwards eject out of there and then in yaw spin and, and lock into your smooth lines <clears throat> if you tie your smooth lines into some jerky eject maneuvers and some yaw spins you are already ready to be juicy bro that was sick dude more uh you need to work on that ejecting where you just fucking throw it and then lock it into that like that curve whatever it stops you just lock it in and let it go because you know how to hold those smooth ass lines it'll be real you'll be looking like marius in no time bro the ejects are like the key to it i think that's like the most important part and once you put that in there <clears throat> and then like i said wherever it stops just lock into your line and just rip, and you'll be looking like Marius in no time, because you already got that sick ass, super super smooth line style. Sean critiques the shiz. Woo! Well, e I know EBR can take that critique and really put it to use. Like, EBR is a sick pilot. If he wants to juice, he's on the course. We can get him there. We could turn EBR into a juice monster. Pa pow, spang. Not juicy either. Practicing a bit, though. Yeah, bro. We're going to get you juicy. We're going to get it all juiced up. All that juice is coming loose. Proton, you missed it. Last night I went through the whole critique shiz, but list, but there wasn't too much to critique in it, really. We are going to roast some people tonight, though. We're going through checking out whatever and just posted for us right now. We'll check out uh, six foot seven. Evan dropped this one. Instagram. Do it for the vine. Do it for the gram. Oh my gosh, just had a really good flight indoors, hanging out with the family. Here we are. Peace from Alaska. critique DVR you are so smooth and so like just great to watch <clears throat> but I see you're trying to juice so I want to I want to get you on the right path bro and if I think you add that eject in there with your smooth lines and juicy is about being smooth and sharp like so you add the right sharpness into that smoothness and you've got the right shit bro you got it and you're from Europe you guys all have like inherent juice just built into you so we just gotta, we just gotta massage the juice loose. Evan's just got 50 feet of snow. Fucking every window and door in the house open like it's goddamn 90 degrees out in Hawaii. Federal criminals we speak of? 
Out here committing federal offenses. Dudes out there in a freaking tank top. In 16 feet of snow. like 2,000 pounds of tile and concrete for it. Oh my gosh. Where's the proof? Really I see you flying. I don't see any any weights family. being shifted. Here we are. <laughs> Peace for Alaska. Very nice, Evan. That sound? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right, let's scroll up here and see what else is being said. The very ripped inside and outside. Me too. Yeah, the Europeans are just naturally juicy little juicers. <clears throat> we are going to watch Long Legged Larry. He's coming up. It's about to get Long Legged Larry up in this. Everyone's got one friend, 22 degrees out, wife beat her on, cargo shorts on. Bro, it's not even cold out here. Shorts on, fucking just chilling outside. Love the Devin. Sick house. Yeah, that is a sick house. Beautiful, like, style, the A-frame and everything. I like it. Very nice. It's my place. Or my in-laws. Okay. Yeah, that is really cool. All right, FP Drew. Let's see this long-legged Larry. Oh shit. Touchdown safe, laid a scaredy cat on the ground. If you listen real close, you can still hear the crowd. Go Larry, go Larry, go, go, go Larry, go Larry, go Larry, go, 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 go. Larry doesn't care. Jump so high, grow a beard in the air. Jump over anything, even Times Square, yelling long like a Larry for mayor. Here, here. Now, once upon a time, in a cell in the tower of a castle through a forest on a hill half the men that ever sought her out had fallen ill all the men that ever tried to climb the wall had fell handful gather at the base of the place each claim way braver than the brains to face bunch of dingbats yapping about saving the day but wait a silhouette and then the face in the haze well it was long-legged larry 
to the mosh pit, jump out of a cake. Now once upon a time there was a circus now. Some went for the cotton candy, some for the clowns, but the hype wire act was the most profound. Had a poodle on a unicycle, rose in her mouth. Ten o'clock show, get the poodle in position. Ten seconds in the unicycle, starts tipping at a poodle, barely clinging to the wire wire mittens. But what the heck is that thing in the distance? Rip it. Long-legged Larry, a sight for sore eyes, known to give a dog a Burton ride. Tucker, are you out there, bro? Arrives, touchdown safe, give us some kibbles and raw hide. If you listen real close, you can still hear the mob. Go, Larry. Go, Larry. Go, 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 Larry. Go, Larry. Go, Larry. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Damn, let's go. This thing is flying nice. Uh. Sick video, bro. Very nice flying, very smooth. I like that. That's some long laid Larry action, bro. Okay, Proton Togo, I'm glad you're there. Uh, what I want you to do is, when you have some free time, will you please stop over my channel and watch, like, uh, a couple of my more recent videos I put out and tell me why nobody gives a fuck about my videos? That would be my main question. What do I have to do to not suck? That's what I want to know. What the fuck am I doing wrong with my life? I watch all you guys, but I just suck. I don't get it. Like, I don't get it. I don't know what my problem is. So you just go over there and be brutal. Be yourself. Don't drink coffee. Wake up tomorrow morning and just put my shit on and just go hard in the comments, bro. Okay? You won't hurt my feelings. You will only make me improve. Everyone, feel free to go over there and just rip my shit apart so I know why I suck. And then I can improve upon myself as a pilot. Oh, shit. Pit's dropping all kinds of pictures in the play my shit section. Very nice, Pit. Thank you for showing us. Yes, from you, who's uh, an, a very badass pilot and is very critical of your own flying, very critical of your own tune, very critical of other... Want me to be critical as fuck of others, too. So, you know. <clears throat> now, EBR, you're, you're sick. There's so many sick people that come through here. I want to not suck. That's the problem. I want to get on other people. I'm watching you guys to get better. Oh, my God. Best backpack ever is my fucking Jansport backpack, dude, that I had forever ago. I have a race day quads bag now, and I swear it just it like just gave me more room to shove shit in. And my backpack is like a 1,000 pounds now as opposed to prior. It was just a nice, light little backpack. All right, we're going to mix in some of these roasts, or at least get some of these roasts going for a minute here. Did we do this one? Leftover B-roll? Was this the slow car chase one from forever ago? Or was this something we didn't watch yet? Oh, shit, Wong. You ready to be roasted, bro? This is old school. You just drop it right inside the, uh, just drop it right in the comment section so I know why I suck there. Or you could post it in the Discord, whatever you want to do. I won't be offended if you write nasty things all over my videos. You have so much jello and jitter in this, bro, this is pretty bad. Take it easy. Walk with the light. 
It sure is a bush out there in the middle of that field, Wong. <clears throat> I like the focus point on that one. Wong was like, one time there was a bee that landed on that bush. <clears throat> yeah, this is Rose section here, boys. Yeah, I should put the flame suit on. Oops, sorry, Wong. Your video was fucking was rough, so I just skipped you right to the end. Oh, shit. Technicolor rainbow on the fire. You're somewhere in here, we were, right? Wong, you got like two loose arms, some loose motors, <laughs> or just badass props. <clears throat> props are only $3. Like, props could fix this. Possibly. Now, is this a, a color effect thing you're adding? Or did you buy that stuff, the sprinkle stuff you put in the fire? Tuning's free. <clears throat> there we go, Wong. Add some fucking shots of you walking around in there. To blend up the shot of this bush out here in the middle of nowhere. Could you tell me the infatuation with this brushy section you're flying over? <laughs> you really like that jelloey bush. Jello bush. Fucking fly. Pick a fucking tree. There's like 30 of them. Fly something. What are you doing? You were infatuated with that brush, bro. That was serious. Yeah. You you've been doing the bush for a lot longer than Slat. I have to let Slat know he's infringing. Holy shit, that bird was like, bro, get the fuck out of my bush, like seriously. Wong got the memo, he's gonna check out nope. So I got myself back Oh man, <clears throat> that was as jelloey as this fucking footage. <laughs> How did you get jelloey walking footage? What do you do to make that happen? How bad is your tune on your walk? Your uh, your pit rates on your fucking legs a little bit off, but <laughs> I know your arms are all fucked up on your quad, but your legs are fucked up too, I guess. Oh, Jello one. I guess it's trying to make it all, trying to make it all match. You gotta add the Jello across all the footage so that it all looks the same. Continuity of the film. Oh shit! This is a crisp shot. We got the tripod out for this fire shot. That shit's fire! No fire! Oh, there was the little little jiggly at the end there. Alright, Wong, that was great, bro. I love you. Love you so much, I almost played your Vajayo again. That was awesome, dude. Thank you for sharing that. <laughs> I'm so glad I chose that one. <laughs> that is a good one. <clears throat> I wish you watched that sooner, dude. That was great. Brought to you by the new Jello Jigglers. All right, poor Dennis hasn't been here in a while, but I feel like we actually watched this one already, and I roasted him on this one, but could be wrong. This was the time. Yeah, we roasted him. This was the time that he was flying a tiny hawk through shit that you could fit a fucking 10 inch quad through. And it says in the title. Oh no, it wasn't in the title. He put it in the in the description that when it, when he was writing in the Discord that this was the first time he was feeling good flying, or he, that time that he felt good flying, or something. 
Now Dennis is killing it, so I'm not saying anything about that, but it was just funny because these these are like seriously spots I'd be shredding with a, with a five inch. And he's in here with a tiny hawk that you could fit like literally through your hands. You could make like a hand gate like this and fit it through it. Actually, for those who've never seen a tiny hawk, it's literally, you can literally make a gap and fit it through your hands. I could fly it through my hands, anyway, or someone's hands. But uh, mine's got a huge ass VTX in the side of it, unlike everyone else's. You can fly this real far, but you'll never get it back, so. Don't get your hopes up on getting too far away with it. I could grab that with the 1990 Grand Marquis. For real. Yeah. Poor Dennis. He's got a five inch now. Hopefully he'll go back here and do this a little bit more. I learned on a Tiny Hawk as well. It was, it's a, such a cool quad. I love it. Now we're going for the four banger right through. He even brought his juice bike out for that. You didn't need the juice bike for all this, Dennis. You could have... You could have walked for this flight, I'm going to be honest. The juice bike could have been left out of this whole thing. I can back an Akana line through those gaps. <laughs> yeah, for real. Yep, yep, we watched this one and did that already. It was very nice, yeah, absolutely. I can see why he was feeling that flight. He was doing his thing. He said, the time I thought I was an okay pilot. Yeah, that's what it was. We did do slats already. We're not going to redo that one. Because I, I did a good job in there. We, we're, we can't redo. And I'm doing image post-processing for a magazine in my pajamas before I had breakfast even. Fuck my life. Image. That's great, dude. Alright, Bubby. Oh, shit, he was in here earlier. I should have played this. Alright, Bubby put up Humble Flow for us to, to roast. So We are about to roast Bubby. We roasted Slack. We're going to roast Bubby. Holy shit. Did he go through the fucking wires? Wait a minute. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Bubby, I got you. <laughs> Doing it through the wires like Kanye. How do you roast stuff like this? What's that? I don't understand. Not much you could roast here. This is Bubby. It's very difficult. Waiting for the future, but it never came. Wishing I would grow up, but I stay the same. There is like no way to roast like some people's videos. It's just the flow is great. Same thing with Slack, except for I was able to get Slack because he was talking in his video. There's no talking in this, there's no nothing. Slap pulled out his phone in his video, so I was like, Slap's trying to call his girl. I was like, y'all don't even worry, I got your girl tied up in a Brooklyn basement, face it, and shit like that. You know, like funny stuff that like you can say, but if you're not talking, you're just fucking shredding, and you're doing a damn good job, so I can't even. Can't even even. Can't even even, and my man Evan can't even even.
take a shower at least. There you go. Try to shower out. See how that does for you. That'll get you image post processing. Since I, I, I mean, I'm gonna have to offer something. I mean, like, where's the spang at, bro? That's what I want to know. Where is the spang? That was sick. Well, hey, train. Choo -choo. Yeah, so we're just gonna pretend. The only thing I can roast is that Bubby flies filter flight. What's filter flight? So who's so much hy hyper smooth? Beta flight, yeah, it's true. <clears throat> I don't use hyper smooth. I don't even have hyper smooth. I guess I do on my nine, but I don't fly my nine. There was a pixel off. I saw it. That's funny. Slider flight. I don't actually think I use the slider when I tune because I use J Webb's tune. There was that one pixel in there. It was a piece of shit. It was all the way off center, not doing its thing. Just totally missing. Well, there's no roast in that. Sorry. It's just too damn good. I couldn't, they can't even roast the building. It's just like a basic ass building. Like, there was nothing to even roast in there. Not a car, nothing. Nothing to roast in there. Bub's always using hyper smooth, he told. Yeah, Bubby does, uh, Slat does. I think, like, part, it's part of, like, their flow, you know what I mean? It's very smooth. Bit rate was just optimal. Did one roll that wasn't perfect yet. Pretty much. Yeah, like, if, but if you take, like, hyper smooth and you try and, like, you're trying to rip around inside of a tight space doing ju 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 stuff, like, or doing, in my opinion, doing, like, real juicy shit, like, juicy spang spang stuff, it looks terrible on. Because you'll, every, it, like, tries to, like, jitter to move and catch up to you. Damn right, FP Drew. Turn that shit down, boy. <laughs> Alright, Tom's Pants. My first time at this spot, I had to learn where the signal dropouts were. Alright, Tom. Get ready to get roasted, my brother. Yeah, exactly. Or just like, ch 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 jitter and stupid stuff like that all the time. I can show you really good examples of it. I flew, uh... When I, when I broke my session, I started flying a Hero 5. So I flew roughly about 50 packs. I would say like 30, 30 or 50 packs. I flew with the, the, the just generic stabilization on, on the Hero 5. And I didn't know it until the other day and I turned it off. And like the footage constantly had this like jittery look to it. I didn't know what the story was. Turn that shit off. And now you can see like there's imperfections in my flying. You could have seen them in that too, the stabilization. But now the footage looks smooth, and it's not like, you can, you don't see that <laughs> stupid shit it's doing. Tom, remember I love you before I start roasting you. Bro, oh, fucking hit the accelerator. You are in a fucking wide open parking lot with miles of space between you and everything. Crank that throttle. Crank it. Full throttle. Crank it. Crank it. Crank it. This is like all full throttle moments everywhere. Full throttle. Crank it. Full fucking throttle. All, all the time. Just everybody. Listen. Full throttle. There's no time when you're in an open space like this fucking parking lot cruise and you should not be full throttle. You'd be full throttle, be inverted, or be climbing that building. Full throttle. All three maneuvers. I feel like this is a 2S. I feel like I'm watching myself fly through a bando. I fly about this speed inside of tight spaces.
Feel free at any point to incorporate a throttle or do a trick. Either one. Tricks or throttle. Either one of those would fill up that space in there where you're doing nothing. Throttle or trick. Throttle or trick. I'll take either one. I'll take a roll. I'll take a flip. Elevator speed to the top, please, sir. <laughs> Holy shit, boys. That looks like my dive. You were like 100, 100 yards away from the building. You just got to get up there and almost touch that sucker and let it fall. Have no fear. Captain Underdog is here. Sorry, Ty, that's a fall. Holy shit, there's like 30 dudes out here for this too? Come on, Tom. Jesus Christ. Put the fucking throttle down. You can't do that in front of people like that. Oh, no. What the hell are you doing now? Park it or don't? Oh, Tom. You could have cut the video off if you're just fucking up or around. All right, Tom. I love you, bro. Is this a good place? So I just landed here on this fucking 20-foot stretch of asphalt? Someone left their balls on the <laughs> They took out. All right, Tom, we all love you, bro. But that was definitely a fall, not a dive. <clears throat> Get back there and tear that up, Tom, and use your throttle. Feel free to go way up past quarter throttle at any point in time. Any point in time, you just whack that throttle open. I give you full permission. Elite FPV dropped up a creek for us. I haven't seen Elite in a while. I don't know. I haven't seen him post any videos either. I'll have to check and see. All right. This is where you're like going out and you're like, I, you know what, let's just fucking break some quads today. Like, we don't have any bandos to fly or anything exciting to look at. Let's just go out and fucking break our shit. But knowing these guys, their shit's probably waterproof. I like the garbage just piled up there, fucking tubes. Couple hundred bucks worth of drain tubes just laying there in a pile. Trees down next to this nice bridge. Give a shit enough to make a white bridge, but not enough to clean the debris and trees out of the out of the creek. Could always dip down low if you got it, you know, like, there you go. You gotta go underneath a branch or something, no problem. Just go right in the water. There you go. Yeah, they gotta be waterproof. Good choices are being made these days. You know they make RC boats, right? Yeah, really. Could have been shredding this. This looks like a sick spot to race boats.
This is like, I have two open fields right next to this. Where can we go to cause the most damage to our quad? Oh, in this fucking five foot wide section right here. Stupid fucking trees. I am so sick of trees. I think I said it yesterday, but I was going to punch a tree. But the only tree I could punch was in my yard, because I didn't leave my house today. Well, I left my house, but I was like in my yard, so... I didn't go anywhere today, is what I should say. There's no like other trees to punch. I don't want to punch my own tree. Because that tree could turn aside and fall on my house and cut it in half like butter. What a better way than to go away with the rainbow. Very nice. Let's see, I don't know if he's put up any videos in a while. A week ago. Let's see what Elite's putting out a week ago. Schwal ride? Nice, bro. Sick. That's really nice, bro. This place has a Bando-esque look to it. He's up there in Flint, Michigan. This place is definitely Bando. Oh, yeah. Where's the indoor footy on this place? What up, Jay? Critical analysis on Shakespeare, yeah, seriously. <clears throat> that stuff is weak sauce. Sick. They were a fire for sure. Didn't even post because they don't even bat an eye at my shit. Who doesn't? I watch your shit, bro. I did it on an eight foot wall. That's funny. Bot coin winner. Did that win? That one? No quads were hurt in making this video. Did that win? I know Elite and Drone Zone put in that one video that was real sick. Oh, that one won it? Sick. They won one, I guess it was last season then, with the UFO thing. It was real sick. The UFO thing they did, like, uh, whenever they did that, was so sick. It was really cool. I thought you did. I thought you did win that one. I carved the shit out of some pumpkins for that. I even fucking perched on a pumpkin in that one. I sculpted pumpkins, bro. By four votes. Oh, man, that sucks. Who's this fucking clown? FP Drew? Who the fuck does this guy think he is? Can't hit that gap under those tables though, can you? Can't hit them gaps though. Oh, we're back in PS1 land. Trying to keep that distance blurry so you don't see it. I, 
Oh shit, no, this is I'm sorry, this isn't a this isn't a PS1 game. This is a this is a Wii game, boys. My man FP Drew's fucking fight simulator Wii! Let's go! Dick statue. Or just spit all over my microphone over that. That dick got him. He saw that dick. He was like, oh shit, alright. He wanted to dance by the thing, but you know. We flight 2.0. I like those structures. They just had some fucking scrap pipe and they were like, we weld it right here and it'll look like a fucking goalpost or something. We'll just put it out over those benches there. Almost made it. Oh shit! There we go, we found a gap in the park. Good job, Drew. Oh shit, J Webb. Oh, you almost even got a power loop in. That would have been dope. That's sick, Drew. I love that video. And it's your, your return to your trip. One year of flying. We watched this and we re roasted it once before. That's where the PlayStation 1 joke came from. But now we've moved on. We uh, we upgraded. That was the Wii version. That was version 2.0. My man FP Drew upgraded his graphics from Wii, PlayStation 1 to Wii, baby. All right. <laughs> Forevermore. Dropping the tunnel. The tunnel of love, baby. Uh. You, uh, anytime you start your video out backwards, that lets yeah. you know right there. This this video has nothing good going forward. I'd like to think this is actually being flown backwards, but I can't imagine why you would do that. And if you're flying forward, looks like this. I can only assume that that was edited to look bad, like it was going back. Holy shit! Look at that fucking wall. All 10 foot wide of that gap, he was able to navigate. There we go. Getting the proxy in. We're getting within 100 feet of the things. 
Wait, somebody help. Uh, oh, shit. Assistance. She talk about her interests. I listen. Uh, because I'm good at that. Taking off on these b****s. I ain't looking back. Uh, feel like Tip with the crooked hat. This my verse. Where the hook is at? I, th I think I'm almost done. I can break it down for you. Get a one-on-one. Like Zoe. Uh, not to say about me. Don't know me. And you hit me once a week and ask me how the going. I can tell you. It's going real smooth. About to get that oh, damn, bro. Oh, damn. You're getting soon. real tricky up in there. Since 11th grade and speaking of it, can you take me back to them better days? I need his head. Uh, and I miss it. Coming back home. Let you know when I'm a visit. Oh, shit. 100 feet from a pole, baby. Let's go. Got a little too close to that when that required full throttle. Get away from it. There we go. Glad you got a hundred feet up and away from the tunnel that the whole video is about to be that one clip. Yeah, back down. That was a horrifying sound. Is she lost? I feel lost, lost he had to He had to go through his legs to try and salvage something out of that video. All right, Forevermore, that was awesome. Thank you for sharing. We love you, bro. Getting roasted. Everybody's catching a roast here. All right, Private Island wants to catch himself a roast. A roasting. Go ahead and laugh. What am I laughing at? The 900 fucking things on your OSD? Jesus Christ. Bro, just go into your OSD and click the rest of them. There's probably two or three more boxes left. Just hit them. Hit the last two or three. We're probably flying like, what do we got? 15? Oh my god, no. Oh, that's terrible, bro. I'm so sorry for you. All that OSD shit didn't do a damn thing to save that quad. He's got information about fucking serial numbers of people nearby. He's got susceptibility for diseases to people nearby. Done. Omen. Omen802, what's good? Welcome, my friend. <clears throat> We are just doing some roasting action here, so I don't normally treat people like shit. This is just uh, just for fun. No, that was not his maiden flight. <laughs> he flies, he's flown for years. That was just a tragedy. Uh, welcome. If you'd like to join our Discord, feel free to join up and hang out with us. You can post your own videos. If you want one roasted or just played, and I'll just play it and be nice. Uh, we're just roasting. These people asked to have their videos roasted, so they are currently catching a roasting. <laughs> Get off that R9. Who knows, dude? There was so much OSD on there. There was shit on there for days. Like, this shit, I don't even know what that is. Like, all kinds of dots and extra numbers. I, I've never seen any of that type of information. That is outrage. Sonic Tonic, let's go. This is uh, one of the new dudes that joined up not too, too long ago. How do we fucking operate this thing? What am I laughing at? This fucking... I saw nothing. Oh my god. Did, did he say, how's my landing? Was that what the, the thing was in the beginning? Oh my god, dude, I, I remember doing stuff like that when I first started flying. That is so funny. Where you like, you think you landed, and then you, you know, like, panic, because you're like, you're like, oh my god, and you whack the throttle, and then you're like, fuck, it's actually not that high, so you think in your mind, you just shut it off, but realistically, it popped like 20 feet up. I did that, like, probably once or twice back in the day. Back in my day, when I was learning how to fly. 
Just joined today. Oh, sick. Okay, Omen, who are you in the Discord, then? Because if you, your video's in there, we'll play it. You might have dropped a video already. Who the hell knows? What a bad way to meet me. I'm, I'm in here, like, harassing my, my guests and stuff, and... He just shows up, he's like, oh. Laugh my ass off, that was brutal. Didn't make it to the island with that one. No, that one definitely didn't make it back from back to the island. My videos. Bad, but goddamn. Oh, you're supernatural. All right, cool. Very nice, my brother. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Bro, look at the finesse. That was finesse, no joke. Thud. I turn wind up. Disarm, oh, shit. My friend's pretty quality at doing that, too. Yo! Ruthless! So we got, instead of, oh, we're going to say Supernatural in the building. What's good? Ruthless FPV, my dude from all the way down in South Africa. What is up, my brother? <clears throat> I've never done that on 6S. Oh, 6S would be a good one to do that on. I only did it on 4S, but I wish I had a video. I'm not that cool yet. No problem, bro. No problem. You'll get there. Just chill with us and enjoy the other content, and one day you'll have some videos to share with us. I'm just chilling, Ruthless. What's good with you, bro? That's awesome, Omen. Glad to have you joining up. This is a really cool hobby and tons of fun. You will have a blast once you get yourself all set up and ripping and everything. First day off in two weeks. Damn, that's what's up. Jamming some lift off because it's raining, of course. We all start somewhere. Yep, that's true. I might join up with you on lift off. Oh, damn. J Webb and Ruthless laying the spang down in lift off. I was in lift off handing out trick tutorials. Oh, damn. Trick tutorials. All right, Sonic Tonic. Nice crash there, bro. You're going to want to. You're going to want to not do that kind of business. Hobby life. Yeah, pretty much. Once it, once you get into it, it's like all-consuming. What happened here? How do we close this? can't see the rest of the thing because behind my body. The download button. Stay up here. Interesting. It goes right to YouTube. Hmm. That was Private Island's video. Let me get to smack that back. There we go. All right, we got a couple more. Oh shit, J Webb dropped one. Six foot seven Evan dropped one. Wong Lahar dropped another one. It says I'm back too. That's so good because you already put one in in the beginning. We watched it. Burger Man, nice. Gun, give it to you. Maybe we'll see. All right, this is Burger Man, dude from up in Canada, Canada, Canada. Canada stack you. Exco, give it to you. Fuck, wait for you to get it on your own. Exco, deliver to you. Knock, knock, open up the door and spill. With the non stop pop out and stay in the still. Go hard, getting busy. nice and wobbly. Keep it wobbly, bro. Fuck Expo. Why can I do it again? I am like some of the men. Break bread with the enemy. No matter how many cats I break bread with, I break who you send me. You motherfuckers never want to know what your life save. Bitch, and that's on a light day. I'm getting down. Your stare was holding. Red sheen skin was showing. Bitch, please. If the only thing you can't steal was came out the plate, stay out my way. Motherfucker, the frock. Do we go to phone? Do we let it pop? No, let it go. Next, go get it to you. He go give it to you. Next, go give it to you. He go give it to you. But you go to frock. Do we go to phone? I love the aim was field flippy floppies. And the song. Oh. When you thought you hadn't heard enough of Carly Rae Jepsen, and you were like, oh wait, I want to hear Carly Rae Jepsen mixed with DMX. That's where you go. That's where you go wrong. This is fucking audible. I don't even like to say cancer because it's such an awful thing, but 
This is fucking audible cancer. This is fucking rotting my ears out. I don't know how much more audio of this I can actually stand. Fuck you. I can't. I just can't. I'm so sorry. We're gonna, we're gonna be listening to this on mute. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, that hurt me so bad inside. I like to do things for laughs and stuff too, but that was kind of rough. <clears throat> that rem- Ooh, it was rough. Almost as rough as this flying is. This flying is pretty bobbly. I like how we're doing no proxy at all in this proxy rich area here. We got trees, we got benches, we got statues. Let's just stay away from all that stuff. Oh shit. I'm not going to avoid the two puddles though. We're going to get as close to the two fucking puddles as possible. We're obviously worried about crashing shit, but... When we do get close to anything, it's going to be the two puddles. That's the only two things we're going to get close to. It did. It really did. I, I improved the shit out of this video for you, Burger Man, my brother. I muted that, that silly song. Oh, the best part is that statue is like a water fountain. Not a statue at all. He's up in Canada. He's almost up there by Evan. Holy shit, bro. What are we doing here? Oh, man. The landing. The landing. That was like 30 seconds dedicated to bringing that landing in. Like as if it was like a fucking... Like it was a Chinook or something. He had to like find somewhere it would fit. He was like, is it gonna come down? Is it gonna make it? <laughs> Can I bring it down here, boys? <laughs> JFPV! What up, Jay? <laughs> Yeah, I don't know what part of Canada, but I know he's on the western side. I think it's the British Columbia region. So, like, above Washington State and stuff like that. So, not, like, totally your neighbor, but pretty close in comparison to most people. Oh, shit. Damn, thanks for following, brother. That is our new alert box, guys. I'm pretty excited about that. I think it looks pretty cool. And when someone may notice what that looks like, I don't know, we're going to find the person that notices what that looks like is going to be a fellow video game aficionado. I can tell you that much because it's something, a theme from a video game. Really, really popular video game for some people. Most people probably never heard of it, but video game collectors know about it. Saw the first GoPro view. I didn't see it yet. No, we didn't get. We didn't watch that. We'll watch that right now. We'll get there. How long do you got, Jay? You got like twenty minutes till you start work, right? I think we're almost done with the roastings. Uh, roastings. We're roasting people, Jay. Full fledged roast suits for everybody. Shit, we got a couple left. I'm in dire need of a restroom break. I want to play Jay's video for him. We're going to take a pause on the roasting list, and we're going to go play Jay's new video. Where the hell did he drop it? I know he dropped it. There it is. First GoPro view. So my man Jay got himself a GoPro. He's in action. He's been up there cruising around, doing his thing. Improvement upon improvement. And now we got the GoPro. So this will not be roasted. Oh, we don't have to mute this one either, maybe. Oh, wait, shit, we got children messages. We got my man Rex Snow. What's good, Rex? 
No, you never could see the scraggle, bro. That's just how it goes. That's why I say fuck trees. Good thing, Ruthless, I got you. Brian is looking great, Jay. You are ripping, bro. The improvements are drastic, my friend. Look at you, nice and low, cruising through there. Confident out there. Does anybody know if uh, anyone has any 4S, like, you know, decent prices, currently any kind of sales going on, 4S, 6S batteries? Like, sometimes China Hobby Line has buy one, get one free, I think you get, like, two 4S, 1500s for, like, 30 bucks or something like that. Has no batteries. That's funny. Really? Would they buy them to sell them or door prizes? Really? Is that the story? <clears throat> Zbat. I was looking. I wanted to try and find something. Need a couple more batteries. My battery piles low. Yeah, you know, my BMW shoot has finally been confirmed to happen on 29th next week. After that, it's back to full shredding content. Feels like I've been waiting forever. Yeah, seriously, Ruthless. I'm fucking getting tired of waiting, bro. About to pull your FPTV star status, man. You don't get some video pumping. You came in here like a wildfire. And then you started taking a nap. Went to sleep like a giant. Lying dormant over there in Africa, bro. There's no hibernation in Africa, I don't think. There can be no hibernating Spang. We need the Spang. LA Nation has 50% off right now. Oh, shit. Is it like 50% off like when, they, when it's like a $30 battery and it says it should be $45 and then it's 50% off? 
6S and 4S. They make 6S under 550 milliamp hour? Supposed to be on the 8th. I know, dude. I'm just busting your ass. I'm just busting your ass. That's that's a big part of my thing. I like to joke around and bust people's asses. And for some reason, the best part is it always sounds real serious when I do it. So people take me real serious, and I'm not being serious in any way. 6S 250 milliamp hour pack? What is it? Is like this long and like that fat? Like, you know, your usual fat guppy size width, but like tiny length? Post a picture of that, J Web. I got to see that little bugger. What? What? J Web, wait a minute. There's a 6S fucking brushless whoop. 65 millimeter? Nah, uh. -uh. Is it really? I got to see that too. I want to see that. I'll show you guys. I saw this. I thought this was crazy when I saw it the other day. I think they have their website. That's in Spotify? I hope I commented on, on your video, Jay. I might have just backed out. I'll go back and comment. I'm so sorry. They are repacked tattoos, so kind of, but they're nice batteries. <clears throat> Shit. Okay. Allen 450 and 556 is. Damn. Well, damn it. I want to see what's up with that, bro. Um, I really want this geyser as well. I really, really want that. Check this thing out. Big baby. Look at this. How do you open this damn picture? Can I zoom in? Come on. Doing me dirty. You see that? Look at that, dude. That is so... I don't even know if it's actually useful for anything. I mean... It's just insane. It is a straight up, like, 3 inch X8. That thing is so cool. Or weight equals flight time. Com. So this thing, they're saying, could fly like as fast as a 5S. I'm sorry, as a 5 inch. But it's a 3 inch. Which, I would assume you, there's probably other 3 inches that do, but could they carry a Hero 8 while doing it? That is the question. 4S 1300 Ovonic, so that's what 25, 12.50 a piece. That's not too bad, right? That's not a bad deal at all. Fuck, I should go grab some of those bad boys. That sounds like a pretty decent deal. I could be damn for that. Pros, <clears throat> three inch on six S. I could do that too. See, I was reading some people were saying it's not even possible or worth doing, but uh, the petrol that HDLRC makes, they make a five S six S version of that, and you can get that bind and fly or four S ooh seventy. That's a little rougher. That's a little rougher around the ends. I don't even know if it's worth the extra 250 milliamp hours for the extra weight you'd probably pick up on that either. I have some 15s. I don't notice much of a flight time difference with them or anything. Who knows? I love this quad, though. I think this is the coolest little quad I've ever seen. I don't know if it has any purpose, but God, I want that thing. 12S, 150 milliamp hour on all my quads. Catching up to my shenanigans. I love that little guy. So cute. It's long, skinny, and fat as fuck. I love this quad. Want one. You make some cool stuff here. This is pretty badass. 
But I don't know why this one's $120 for the frame, but the geyser is only like 45 Makes no sense. It, it is going for 5 a.m. You must be on the East Coast, super, uh, Supernatural. I'm on the East Coast as well in uh, Northeastern Pennsylvania. Is the petrol moddable? I kind of like those, but the, it doesn't look like you put a camera on it, so not really my jive. I wanted to try it, but box it. 802, baby. Is that Miami? I could be wrong, but... Vermont. Couldn't have been wronger. Fucking all the way across the country. Vermont, dude, that's sick. I I was up there. I haven't been up there in a long time. I used to come up to Vermont and go to like Killington Mountain and where the hell? We went to one other one. I can't remember what the other one was. Stowe? Maybe? I don't remember. We went to another one, but I don't remember what the other one. We went to Killington and I liked that place a lot. We had a good time there. And Killington has a really sick uh, snowboard shop. It was the first, well, I, I went to, I worked at a snowboard shop here, but the first time I ever went to a, like a shop that was strictly snowboarding, not ski and snowboarding or only skiing, was in Vermont right down from Killington. It's called Dark Side Snowboarding. I don't know if it's still there. And that place was so sick. It was like heaven. And then I came back home, and I ended up getting a job at uh, Mike and Matt's. It was called Snowboarding. It was the only all-snowboarding shop down here. And that place was really cool. So we, it was the only snowboarding shop down here. And it was just awesome. Such a cool place to work. I used to instruct snowboarding, too, for a little while. Like, maybe two years. Just to get a jacket. And it was, it was better than standing by the lift or some shit. So I used to just do that. All right, JFPB. I don't. If you have a session four, I don't know how crazy you can get with it, but you could run like uh, 1080, 30 frames per second. Looks pretty good, in my opinion. Or two seven, 30 frames per second. Definitely 30 frames per second, though, in my opinion. But yeah, Killington was awesome, dude, and they have. Uh, I don't know if the other ones have it too. I don't remember if the other one went, went to up there did, but th the gondola that's indoors and closed, like you're riding in like a little box. It was so cool riding on that. I never rode on one until I went up there. Sick, Jay. That's what's up. And we got in that thing, and it was so cool. You're riding up this mountain forever, dude, in this closed-in box. And, you know, we smoked trees at that point. And I remember when we all got back together for the first time, <clears throat> we all got into the elevator, and there was two younger, like, dudes, like, maybe, like, 15, in the, and there were this, maybe 16, 17, I don't know. And I, I look back, on we were, like, 18, so it's not like I was, like, 30 and this happened, but I was like, bro, we, we wanted to smoke a Dutch so bad, and I was like, we're not going to get back together, it's not going to happen, like, because we kept getting split up. And I'm like, yo, I was like, guys, you guys want to smoke some trees? And they were like, no. And I was just like, all right, well, we're about to. Like, so we just lit it up inside the fucking thing. We had no choice, though. Like, there was no other choice. Because it's, if you've ever been to a mountain like that, do you know how bad it is? You get split up and you will literally never see each other for like three, four, five, six hours. You don't know. You may never see each other till the end of the day. So... We had no choice but to light up, and those kids were just sitting there, and it was like, like I said, they're only like three years younger than us, but we were just like, fuck it. You gotta do what you gotta do. And then we, we got off, and like, they were, they looked like they were having a good time by the time we got off there, you know? Probably a little secondhand contact high or something, who knows? But they didn't seem to mind. They were just like, no, I think they were just more nervous, like they didn't know what to say. They probably wanted to get ripped with us. That place was sick, though. And then when you're coming up the top, so you're, like, gradually going up like this. But when you get to the very top, it starts going like this, like an elevator, dude. And the, the steepest part, like, right before you get off, it's like a double diamond drop straight down like a wall. Some shit you don't even want to attempt to go down. I just woke up. I wanted to say what's up. Going back to sleep now. What up, Acro Cheese? 
You must be doing what I do. My wife's trying to get the picture of it. So if I ever do fall asleep, wherever I'm sleeping at, I'm sleeping like this. And my phone is like ready to go. Like in one hand, straight. Oh, Killington is legit for sure, dude. Yeah, I love it there. And I, I seriously fall asleep like this. And I'm like. And I'm waiting for this fucker to ding or something. And I'm just like, oh. Just go in, do my thing, and just back out. Like, that's how I sleep. Like, so, you know. That's why, that's why people are like, this guy doesn't sleep. Because I'm always there. I'm always listening. I'm always ready. I do that a lot, especially when I drink. And another one that I'm famous for, which is why I smash my phones all the time, is I lay on the couch. And I'll be passed out on the couch with my arm off the side of the couch doing it. And then it's like, swunk, right to the floor. I do it constantly. Imagine having snow. Yeah, snow is awesome, dude. It's really fun. That's why this summer was really weird for me, because I love snowboarding. Or winter, I'm sorry. It was really weird, because I love snowboarding. I love snow, and I love playing in the snow with the kids, and building like snowmen, and sleigh riding, and all that stuff. But this year, I like to, it's my first year flying, so I love flying, and it was so hard because I love the snow, but I love flying, and I was just like, oh, the snow is really b brutal on the flying for me. Not having a white Christmas is rough, dude. Turn your phone's flashlight on to look, at, look for your phone. Yeah, that'll help you for sure. Two months of mud and we're golden. Back in action. Yeah, if you call that phone, get that shit straight. Where are we at here, boys? Oh shit, Kenji put up a video? Damn. Wait, Josh P put up a video? What the hell? Everybody's posting videos. Damn, son. All right, boys. I, I got to use the restroom. I'm not, gonna, I'm not even going to front. It is time for a restroom break. Um, I subbed. Roast my vid. That's it. So. Acro cheese. I'm out. Love, peace, and hair grease. Nice. I got you, acro cheese. Acro cheese, bro. I might be down in your way this weekend. Forgot to tell you. Peace out. Supernatural, thank you for coming through. Make sure you come through anytime you want. We're on Monday through Friday. If you ever do have a video, you can always post it. And feel free to share the word. This is not a secret. You can tell anyone you want to come. Uh, what was I going to say? Acro cheese. I may be in Philly this weekend. Sunday? All right, sweet. Did you ever hear of the Linfield Industrial Park? That's where I want to go. I'm not going to front. I'm not fucking playing, bro. That or, if I do come down there, I wonder, maybe we can go to the bud plant that uh, I've been talking to Erica, the Erica Bandelarian chick, and she wants to fly, so I, she's planning on coming up here, but maybe I'll come down there this weekend. And I'll show you the Linfield. Boys. We are talking. I got two crazy. Looks like it's surrounded by woods. And Damn, then, dude drew a fucking map for us? On the back of it, uh, just some other useful information. Now, wait, a minute, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. This dude is going on a fucking... This kid... <laughs> this dude planned this out like a, like a high school field trip. He wrote the shit down. Linfield, he's got the note at the top. Do not park in front. Trick or treaters. Wait, what? Tractor goes through daily at 6 p.m. Cops go by every now and then. Yeah. 15 total buildings, 197 acres. Dude, this kid has got it hooked up. Thank you so much. You get a like right out of the jump street. He's got 5,000 likes on this video? Damn. Why? See, this is what I don't understand. I'll go to, like, I found a bando in the woods that, like, no one's been to. 
It, some people know it is. I did find a little bit of information about it, but I posted videos of me flying there. There's zero fucking views on it. I, like, I see people like doing sh shit like this, going to these Linfield places, and they get like hundreds of thousands of views. Makes no sense to me. Watch, I'll go to this place. I will get like 50 views on my video. And everything. So it should just be fun to walk around there and look around and see what I can find. Uh, I think this will be a lot of fun. So I'm just going to bring you guys there and we will look around. Okay, so I am just about here. I mean, uh, a big ass exactly bag of chips. There, that's his lunch. There's no way to actually like park around there. So I'm just going to park at this place in here. It's called like some pizzeria. I'm just going to park in this parking lot. But I tell you what we're going to do, Acro Cheese. We are going to fucking park somewhere like normal people, like a mall or something nearby. And we're going to Uber here. I can't be the only person smart enough to know that you fucking Uber to Bandos. You do not park at them. Can't be the only person smart enough to know that. Like my Bandos, I go to some places you really could pull right up and chill. Like Pilgrim, you could pull up out front and park. You could pull up at Concrete City and burn your car down if you wanted there and no one will ever even know you were there. Or you burned your car down. No one would care. But, you know? I'm gonna just walk up to Linfield. This place, from well, what I, I hear, they patrol like this. They are yeah, dicks like, about this place. It's like a flashlight, uh, some water bottles, some granola bars, stuff like that. And my brother also made a map. I'll show you that real quick. He's ready to live my there. My brother actually made this map for me. Uh, I guess he looked up Linfield on Google and then just like drew up this map real quick. So there's a little parking space up here you can actually park in. And then there's a gate. There's a total of 15 buildings. And there's a water tower. And the rest it looks like it's surrounded by woods. And then I guess on the back of it's. On the back you saw it right and there's a water tower and the rest it looks like all right so this is our map acro cheese this is where we're gonna attack we are gonna get dropped off by the uber right here where this car picture is i think that's supposed to be a car i could be wrong but that's what it looks like when i draw a car okay so <clears throat> and we're gonna sprint i'm fat i'm real slow so i don't know what we're gonna do about that you're skinny maybe i'll just tie a rope to you and your speed will pull my fat ass and we will go, you know, I'll slow you down some, so you're not going to be as fast as you normally are. But I'll be faster than I normally am, and we will get to around the corner of this. Once, see, he put a person here. This is him. He knows. Once you get around the corner of this building, you're safe. Mm-hmm. And then we're free. We are free. Inside of some of these buildings, we're going to scroll forward now that I saw this kid's sick-ass map. I'm so excited. So this is outdoors. We're not going to play any of this because I don't need copyright infringement. I don't know if this dude's cool or not. He seems like he's a cool guy. He's, he's out trespassing, having fun, putting up the evidence. So Usually people that put up evidence of their own trespassing are not going to be pissed off that you play their video. Did he literally just walk around outside and not go inside at all? I hope that's his camera and that he didn't just find a fucking can in there. It looks like he didn't go inside anywhere. He looks at this place like he wants it. It's pretty cool. Back in the car now, and I'm about to leave. But uh, it kind of does suck that I, there weren't any like actual windows I could reach in there. Because at Penrose, it was very easy. Because there was one window very close to the ground that you could just jump and climb right into. But it might be cool to go back later with like a rope or a ladder or something like that to help me get inside. But other than that, I thought it was pretty fun. I got I'm fat. I can't climb on ropes and ladders and shit. Climb. What the fuck? Other than that, I thought it was really fun. And uh, oh shit, we were watching Ruthless's video. I'm fucking retarded, bro. I am so retarded. You gotta like keep me on track here. I get excited about shit. All right, we're gonna see what's up. This is Blackbird Tune Kiss V2 BMS 2 2000 KV. Oh shit. First flight, let's go ruthless.